She climbed into Funny the tummy. When I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willie liked, liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. Hashim laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. Come on, then. Daddy took me home. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy? Yeah? I've got a sore tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on, then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you doctor, now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh, dear. The doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said to lie down on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy? Said Daddy. Gone, I said. Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey, Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire. Tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? I'm here to boy at my nursery. He pushed me. When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim pushed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willie to Hashim, it's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willie. We've been guests to Willie. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. 
Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. We asked the Dobbin. Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Okay. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time for your riding lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie Shona sniffed and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey Tig, nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun. Riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah! It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Wooly. We've been guessing. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie we'll came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yeah. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. 
they're late climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I love my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way. So you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Wooly didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake a cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands and put on our aprons. I put everything on the table: bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, oranges, and raisins. Oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Thank you. Daddy chopped the carrots and I grated them in the special machine. Daddy grated orange skins. All of it. We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop when the carrots and oranges. Yuck! Whoa. We broke eggs all over the yuck. 
I sprinkled raisins. What, do another one? I mixed up the mush. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said, just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye, cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, let's see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, OK? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, we not yet, Egg. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> waiting for things to happen can be angry making too. <laughs> the trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick. Tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I helped Daddy do the washing up. OK. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Right. We waited again for the cake to cool. Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider! Ah. Oh, you got me! It's a little spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willie. We've been guessing. Here we are Panda. At the zoo. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig. This is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We let's, had to uh, wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what? Can you name it? There are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Then I saw some pandas. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? I'm going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Daddy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. Right, we went up. over a wooden bridge. Take. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. 
This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But, hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions. The tigers. Whee! And the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's so tea. Then the panda went to sleep. Oh, he's going back to sleep. Night, night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a What's real that? panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, isn't it? I love Willy. We've been guessing Harvest supper! When I was little, my friend Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! The harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Willie came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were grown on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give Rebecca a hand. Good girl. Yes. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and OT flapjacks. Those are OT flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the OT flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The OT flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as the combi emptied grain, but I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back, but I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. Okay, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the Oti flapjacks? 
Where are the Aussie flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They, they grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the Aussie flapjacks grow in the fields. No Aussie flapjacks. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No Aussie flapjacks. Especially if they're Aussie flapjacks. But sometimes, when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Willie. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that Oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, Oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make Scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eyes. I drew a mouse. That's excellent, that's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables. Honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that was eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan? <laughs> And to the harvest! The, the harvest. harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't. It's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. Daddy, Louise has my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you are wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Whee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. See the sand. Depends which way you're looking if you're by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining in the play. There's right and wrong and wrong and right and what will be will be. Now no more angry feelings, let's agree to disagree. One way you'll see a rainstorm, one way the sun will 
shine Depends which way you're looking If it's raining or it's fine One way you'll see the grass wave One way the rustling leaves Depends which way you're looking If you're in the grass or trees Hey, stop spoiling all the fun And messing up the day What matters most is getting on And joining in the play One thing, and Louise does another. But I didn't want to mess up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of Wooly. It's only a toy spider. and harvest supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee.